The northern lights, or aurora borealis, are one of the most impressive natural phenomena on this planet. Now, astronomers from Astron, together with teams based at other institutes, have detected radio waves from a star intimately connected to auroras, which means that there must be an exoplanet there. For this, they observed radio waves with the Low Frequency Array, a giant radio telescope consisting of around 20,000 connected antennas spread all over Europe. On the 16th of June 2016, the astronomers spotted an intriguing signal coming from GJ1151, an ordinary red dwarf star 26 light years from Earth in the Ursus Major constellation. Stars emit all kinds of electromagnetic waves, but these low frequencies have not been closely studied before. After crossing off many possibilities, the researchers found that there was only one explanation. The signal was being produced by an interaction between the red dwarf star and a planet. This discovery is reminiscent of a mystery from our own solar system in the 1960s. Jupiter is emitting radio waves in sync with the orbit of one of its moons, the volcanic Io. But why? It took a decade of observations, as well as visits by the Voyager and Galileo probes, to find out. The constant volcanic eruptions give Io an atmosphere, and radiation knocks atoms into charged electrons and ions. This means that Io's atmosphere is conducting electricity, while it moves through Jupiter's strong magnetic field. An electrical conductor moving through a magnetic field causes a voltage to build up. The voltage pushes electrons to move along the magnetic lines, spiralling around them and emitting radio waves along the way. For the most part of the journey, the radio signal is weak, but close to the star, the magnetic field lines get more crowded and the spiralling electrons start to feel each other. They interact more and more, emitting strong radio waves in unison to create a radio wave laser beam. As Io circles Jupiter, this beam will hit the Earth from time to time. Mystery solved. The very same thing seems to be happening on a much larger scale, but this time it is the red dwarf that is providing the magnetic field. Electrons streaming between a planet and GJ1151 would produce radio waves like those that have been measured. Now, this still has to be confirmed. If there is truly a planet, the waves would switch on as the radiation beam crosses the Earth, and off when it passes. The researchers are now checking other nearby stars, and expect to find dozens more with similar radio waves. This method could provide a new way to discover exoplanets, using LOFAR and future radio telescopes such as the Square Kilometre Array. And regarding those auroras? Electrons eventually fall down into the star and crash into its outer layers, causing the shimmering curtains of aurora. Only in this case, they shine over a star instead of a planet, and may even be visible to telescopes on Earth. And if the newly discovered exoplanet has a magnetic field, like the Earth does, the same thing is bound to happen on the other end. This would cause auroras over an exoplanet, including the accompanying radio waves. We may even detect those. The hunt for exo-auroras is now in full force.